It is very chilly, very windy. Um, I only plan out here to be, I only plan on being out here for a little bit. So I just kind of want to share with you the wind. Seriously, just listen to that. sounds so different here than in the valley, than in the desert. Um, honestly, just standing here and just hearing the wind and seeing the trees move and seeing the, the plants, the sage, the, ah, the sagebrush, um, you know, snow, mud, the sheep smelling the manure and the horse and hearing them talk chatter and just like you know banter kind of like bad and just just hearing these things like oh my goodness it's amazing um I love how when I come home I just see little things throughout from throughout my whole life that just does not change like for for instance this is one thing that never changes I can always count on seeing a fly swatter inside a house outside an Navajo house that is definitely a necessity um you know I can count on things when I see things here it's just it's amazing um so I'm just kind of looking around and 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 smelling things taking everything in oh my gosh right it's amazing it's beautiful to be home it's beautiful Sarah, thank you for coming to my channel, The Navajo Mama. Um, I'm outside my parents' house. I'm just kind of walking around. Our time here at my parents' place is coming to an end pretty soon. And I just want to say thanks for watching my videos, guys. Thanks for coming along, being with me as I show you things from my perspective. Um, I know perspectives vary. I know everything's different. And a lot of what I share really comes from my heart, from how I think and how I view life. And as a mom, what can I teach my littles? As a wife, what can I bless my husband with? Or, or um, how, can I, how can I teach them, equip them? Not always just like teaching that, that you don't have to be right about stuff. Um, just how do we live life? And how do I pass this on to my children? So, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Ahiaha Insago for just being a part of my journey, being here, um, you know, giving support, and always being so sweet in the comment section. You guys are amazing. I just wanted to, on the last day of the new year, I mean of the old year, 2021, I just wanted to come out here, stand, smell the air, feel the wind, look around, because life changes, guys, life changes. We all had so much that we went through this past year, losing people, losing loved ones, um, gaining loved ones, the birth of children, the birth of friendships, the birth of job opportunities, the birth of scholar, scholastic things. Um, sorry, the, the, um, the horse spooked me out. But yeah, we've had so much growth, so much harvest this year. And I feel like it's been amazing. It's been painful. It's been hard trying sometimes you just want to rip your hair out and be like oh my gosh like 2021 are you serious we saw how 2020 was but you know life is really good and i've had so many blessings this past year um which you know overtakes every other thing that i've had going on in my life but i want to be out here and thank god like thank you lord thank you for how beautiful the sky is for those days when you just feel like you can't do it Thank you for this wind, for breathing into my lungs, and for a working body. Thank you for my hands and my feet, and that I'm able
able to walk around, carry my littles, dance with them, love them, talk to them, hear them. Thank you for my eyesight, for my glasses, seriously, that I can see. And thank you people in my life for my best friend. Thank you for her. She literally just helps me grow. I've always said my cousin, my, my, I've always, I've always said that my husband is a crayon box. He's colored my life in more ways than I know. When I was growing up, like things were pastel-ish. And when I got married, my husband brought vibrancy, magenta, neons, and he really showed me life. And I had chocolate for the first time. And um, like there's things that I just thank him for. And with my addition of each child, they've taught me how, just how big my heart is and how strong I am and how how much I have to think twice before I do something and maybe think even three or four times. And on top of that, like the cherry on top of this incredible Sunday, I have this amazing best friend who's just really a God-fearing woman and I love her. And she challenges me in ways that I didn't even know that I needed to be challenged. She helps me grow and she gives me this elasticity where I can bend and grow out but come back in and remain strong again. She helps me through my walk as a mom, as a wife, through going to the gym. I know I told you that we've gone to the gym together and we do life together, but it's not just that. I'm learning from her. She's an incredible woman and I couldn't say like, I, could, I couldn't even fathom how the end of my 2021 would be without her and her family, her dear husband, who just is so welcoming, loving, and non-judgmental and has loved on my family in the shortest amount of time that we've known them. And I thank them and her children who are just so spontaneous and full of life and who color my children's lives. And I've prayed and prayed like, dear God, help me, like send me this person that I want to do life with. And, and he has, and I love that. So thank you, bestie fam. I, I, I really appreciate all of you and I can't wait to see them because uh, my best friend's birthday passed and I can't wait to give her a birthday hug, take her out for some sushi and just spoil her. Gosh, she needs to get spoiled. Um, she is spoiled by her amazing family, but I want to spoil her too. So when I come back means be careful. Um, get ready. I'm going to take you out. All right. So we're just kind of out here. I'm walking around and I wish, you know, my best friend could come and see this. Hopefully she can sometime soon. I would love to share that. That's the cool thing about coming from different cultures and sharing this with each other. Like, that's amazing. Um, but yeah, I wanted to walk around here, take a good look because even though my homestead has not changed, it has changed. Like it hasn't changed. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds kind of weird. It hasn't changed, but it's changed a lot. For instance, that tree right there, it used to be in my tree house. I don't know if you can see. Come on, camera. That was my tree house. It had like this cool deck on there. It was amazing. My dad built it. My brother designed it. And now it now it's just there and they park this um, tractor under there, under the tree. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I cannot talk. Uh, but they park this tractor under the tree during the summertime to prevent feeding on the material. And they also cover the seat because it's important to take care of things that you do have. Um, and that's really, really good. That's one thing I wanna pass on to my littles. So with today being the last day of this year, I just wanted to walk around and kind of just soak up all of this and be kind of one with the nature just kind of think like and talk about god what do i have coming up god i don't know what 2022 is gonna bring but i know i have him i know i have god i know i have him carrying my family through it and that does not mean it's gonna be easy but i know it's gonna be a fantastic year because because it's going to be God's promises are true. God's promises are amazing. And while sometimes there are hard, 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 hard times and journeys and chapters and times where just like, okay, God, now what? Where to? I will follow you. Or, okay, God, I don't know how I'm going to get through this, but I'm going to get through it because I have you. And so 
whatever you're facing, like whatever this time of life is bringing for you, I want you to know that I want you to go through this year and know God's going to carry you. He is. He is the ultimate person. Like, it's okay to have concerns and fears, and it's okay to be nervous, but it's okay because God has got you. He does. Um, for me, my health, I'm like, cancer? What? No. I don't have cancer. Like, you know what I mean? Or lupus. Like, lupus who? Hmm? Larry? Like, I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm not going to let that deter me. It's not going to deter me from living life, from making memories, from praising a wonderful God because he really is almighty and God is good all the time. Even though there are hard things we are enduring in this sinful fallen world, it's amazing because I, I have that comfort. And I know full well in my heart just who has the last say in my life. And although I have plans and plans of what I want to do, like the sun just came out. Thank you, God, right? Let's get that sun in here. Can you see the sun? That sun is amazing. That is from God, guys. He, he, he knows I love sun and warmth, and that's for me. Um, thank you, God. But um, I'm not going to let it deter me. And one thing I want to talk about when I'm just out here and I'm realizing life is bigger than life. Life is so much bigger. Um, I know from day to day, people worry about food, necessities, the bare needs that we need, and finances, and bills, and what am I going to do? Am I going to go back to school? Am I going to finish? Do I want to go for that master's degree that I've been like thinking of? What do I want to do? But more so, what does God call me to do? There are so many things I want to do, and I'm not necessarily like blaming my children or my family or my faith, um, but I want what God wants for me. And I know God calls me to, to help. I love helping. I've worked in the hospital with like the nursing background, and I've worked, you know, with um, community health and I love helping people and I feel like when we give people that that boot I feel like when we give people that hope or we help people be seen and be heard and validated meaning you're not trying to change people you're just there for them and you're not surprised by what people do because people mess up people go through life and I think that's my son but yeah it's really oh look at those clouds way in the distance I don't know if you could see. We are expected to get snow today. So all of those clouds are actually towards Navajo Mountain. Um, that that way is like, uh, let's see, let's come on, come on. Okay. That way is northeast, southwest, west of Navajo Mountain. So like towards Lake Powell. And then of course, Page is that way. Um, if you're wondering where Kaimato is from, like right here, Kaimato is that way. Um, where we come from, the valley, and then like Tuba City-ish and like Flagstaff and all of that down south, that's that way. And then, sorry, my hair is crazy. Um, yeah, and then Kayanta is straight that way, that way. But um, I, I love the clouds. Um, I don't think a lot of you guys know that I'm really into art. I'm really into art. My dad's actually a very great artist. Um, he has made so many things. In fact, my brothers are also artists as well. And my sister is very, very good with, um, you know, talking. And that's her skill. And, you know, that's one thing I want to do this year. Build on my skills. So I know God has called me to help people. But I don't want to help people like how I'm thinking I want to help people. So I'm really excited for how God's going to show me just how I can help. And I know that we always help each other, whether we're just talking, whether, you know, um, and I hope my channel helps people. I really do. Um, that's why I started it. Um, I really just want people to know that you're not alone, that you're not going through life alone, and that, hey, there is a healthy way to family vlog, mommy vlog, there is a healthy way to do these things, and at the same time, I want to, like, share 
I want to like share this with people to let them know um, how we vlog makes a difference and I, I want to do that so like being a indigenous woman and a Native American and Nah woman I want to tastefully respectfully healthily you know share my culture share my life I could share anything from my life because that's just who I am I'm an open book I love being transparent I love you know talking um, I do no, there's a boundary when it comes to my husband, my marriage, my children, my family. And I, you know, I want to say thank you too to my family for letting me make all of these vlogs who participate in my vlogs and who at times tell me like, hey, I don't want to be in it today. Like, you know, I really, really, really appreciate that because I want my family to know they are so important to me. And I love all of you. I love my dad. I love my mom. She's literally just I love her. Um, I love my sister and I love her family. They my hands are so itchy, sorry. Um, and I love my brothers. I hardly get to see my family all the time, but both brothers, I love them. And I love my brother's family and my nephew. So uh, family to me is really important. And that's one thing I want to do, build on my skills. And I want to, I want to nourish their skills. Like, um, my sister's really good at talking with people and sharing, you know, her thoughts, and she's really good at um, people skills. She can talk to people, and I want to, if anything, I want to build that up for her, and so I would love prayers if you could pray for me, because sometimes that's hard, right? Sometimes it's hard to help other people build their skills or ref help refine those areas or to be like a cheerleader to root others on but I feel like that's needed and I feel like that's what really helps family because I know a lot of um, people in the community that I've you know had the pleasure and honor of talking with they're experiencing really hard pain in family relations and you know that is true because I see it all the time and I've experienced it um, but I feel like the one thing we can do is always give without expecting. And that's one thing I really, really am trying to um, have in my mind. I can give and I can, I can give and plant and nourish without expecting and without giving myself up. Because you don't want to put so much into someone else and give all of yourself up because that's it's it's really unhealthy that's kind of toxic so you have to find that that healthy line um which you know anything can be toxic like overeating going to sushi all the time or fa roll uh, fa spring rolls um tacos like you know what i mean i'm a big girl i love to eat so but i'm out here just you know looking at life looking at my parents home praying over things god be with this area may nothing um nothing evil prosper against them they their their things they have around here work to where they need it like this tractor it doesn't just help my parents it helps our neighbors it helps whoever asks you know can we have your help with a tractor so and then like as simple as this building is like god protect this building because it does hold tools and everything and protect their home and surround their home with protection and health and laughter because laughter is really good guys we can't forget laughter um you need humor and so i also pray for like the rooms like it's just it's amazing how much prayer is and that's the one thing i really love about uh, my older brother um, well, I have two older brothers, but my oldest brother, he is really so strong with his prayer and his, his faith. Um, and that always encourages me because sometimes I'm like, you could pray, 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 but you know, maybe God has a different answer, but 
And I'm like, so then it kind of deters me. Like, I'm not going to really pray about that. But then I'm like, man, prayer is like communication. And if I am praying and talking with God as though he is my best friend, because he is my best friend. And if I talk to him every day, that just builds a solid foundation and relationship. And I know, I know he's going to hear and care. And even though what I'm praying for might not be how he has it planned, he appreciates that I'm coming to him. And it becomes a an amazing reaction that when you're going through something you just stop and pray and instead of getting scared and worried and so that kind of boots like Satan out and so my older brother has been such a huge I don't know he's been such a great example for me as prayer as far as prayer goes so that's one thing I'm gonna do is prayerfully go into the new year and it's so easy to say like yeah I pray I pray I pray I pray every day but I want to be like so focused and intense and just you know so engulfed in prayer that I don't even have room for anxiety anymore you guys know that I told you I've been working with anxiety and it is a process it is um some people are like, I've got over it. I'm like, good for you. That really is good for you. No sarcasm. It's like good for you, but not everyone does. And even though you're like the strongest person and maybe your faith is just so completely strong in there, but it still, it still takes work. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in the work and I'm going to beat this anxiety. And so, um, anyways, I just want to like come out here. I know I've been talking a lot. I'm probably going to go back in so I don't get an earache. Jeez, I know you guys are probably like, girl, you're out there with no beanie. But um, I curled my hair. I curled my hair for you guys. So I wanted to show my curls. <laughs> just kidding. No, that's not why. Um, but, yeah, it's really, really good. So I'm glad I get to just look around and see the place. And it's New Year's Eve, huh? So I'll talk to you again. I have some more videos coming out. Bear with me. I have a big annual mutton video coming out. It's just, it's really long and I'm on the Navajo Nation. And that last video I put about a full winter day in the Navajo life, that took me two days to upload. So bear with me. But I'll talk to you guys later. I love you all. I'm appreciative of you all. You all are smart, handsome, gorgeous, important, smart, I think I said that twice, and amazing, okay? Be kind to people. Drink all that water. Keep your skin good. Eat healthy, okay? But also have a brownie, okay? Bye! Hagoine! New Year's Eve 2021. I pray your 22 is good, okay guys? Bye. Bye ladies and men.